Hey everyone, I am Ankita Astana and I love to communicate with this world through my photographs. I started the wedding photography and filming company called Wedding Nama. As a photographer who still shoots on film sometimes and loves all things retro, I am very excited to unbox this camera today. This is going to be on the bucket list of a lot of photographers. Alright, so here we go. A bluish grey box for a change. I love the letter Z on it. Let's unbox it, shall we? The warranty card and another warranty card for the lens and the user manual. And here's the lens which is a 28mm 2.8. I love the black and silver look. Let's keep it here. Let's see what else. Here's the battery. ENEL25, I think it's the same one that is used with the Z50. The charger. Alright, here's the camera itself. Ooh, stylish, isn't it? Ah, and it's very lightweight. Ooh, gorgeous. Let me keep this camera here. Let's remove some of this and then we'll talk more about it. Some things are iconic and I love that Nikon value sentiment and has released this gorgeous camera. Ooh, I love the old Nikon lettering. I think it's from the 70s or 80s. What does FC stand for? I was also curious and I did a little bit of reading and the F signifies the model with symbolic importance to Nikon's history and fusion of the classic looks as well as the new age technology. And the C conveys how Nikon wants this camera to be used by anyone, everywhere, casually. Look at these control dials. Classic one for shutter speed, just where you'd expect it to be. The film rewind button is now replaced with the dial for ISO and for changing the modes. And there's an exposure compensation button um, and also one for recording videos. I love the tiny display over here which I'm assuming is for the aperture and then there's this dial over here which is for switching between photo and video mode. Now this is a good looking camera isn't it and I feel like this would be something that everyone would want to be photographed with. A modern mirrorless camera inspired by one of Nikon's most popular film cameras the classic Nikon FM2 and I have one over here for you guys. Let's look at the two side by side. Ah, you beauty. The color scheme, the aluminum look, the engraved markings, it's all there. The texture of the material used on the body, the manual shutter and ISO dials. The ISO on the ZFC goes up to 51,200. On film, I have shot at maximum ISO of 3200. Can anyone tell me why the FM2 didn't have a dial for the ISO? Just this little window that showed the current ISO. Yes, that is correct. The ISO was dependent on the film that you were using and this display was just a reminder of which film you had loaded. So you just, if you had loaded a 400 ISO film, you would just move it here and leave it like that, just as a reminder. I have learned photography on this camera, the FM2. It's a classic. And when the dials are in front of you, you're just more conscious about them. And I feel like that helps with developing your photography skills. I feel like the ZFC would be a great camera for photographers who haven't even experienced the film era and for even those who are nostalgic about the film era. Setting things right in camera before pressing the shutter, it brings a lot of discipline into your shooting style. Putting more thought into what you are creating before you make a photograph. So I'm going to love all these manual buttons on the ZFC. Alright, let's turn this over. The circular eyepiece. When you look at the back of the camera, that is when you realize that this is a digital camera. Let's open this, display, okay, alright. And 
It does. Oh, finally, something we had all been waiting for. A very angle monitor. I think this is going to be very useful for travelers and vloggers and also I can think of another use for this live streaming. Card and the battery go down here. It has an SD card slot. Let's put the battery in. Shall we attach the lens to this? Hold on and turn this on. Listen to the sound of it. All right. Oh, that looks good. Yes, this one displays the aperture. Let's see how it looks turned towards us. Ah, that looks good. It has eye detect. Oh, that's cool. The menus and screens are very similar to your other Z mirrorless cameras. It is a crop sensor camera with 20.88 megapixel and it has 11 FPS continuous shooting. It has RAW, 14 bit RAW, all kinds of creative picture controls, time lapse, HDR, everything. And looks like it has pretty good video features as well 4K at 30p and full HD at 120p. I feel this camera would be one that all photographers who are nostalgic about their craft would love to have. I believe it would be a really good camera to just carry around and maybe even make a fashion statement with it. But it's not just a good looking camera though. It has amazing features too which will be useful for photographers who shoot every day, who travel, who create content, who basically use photography to express themselves. And enough talking now, I am going to go make some photographs with this beauty. Until next time, stay safe, stay inspired.